Hello YouTube, Easygoing MC back with another episode of Easygoing Survival. In this episode, guys, we're going to be working on, well, some housekeeping tasks. So in the last episode, as you guys know, we built that fantastic auto brewer that I recently designed. And we also did, yeah, uh, a couple other things. Um, so yeah, we did, uh, we built that bridge, which I've slightly modified. I'll show you guys that later. Right now, I'm just getting some more fireworks. Oops, that's a self touch pick, okay. Right now though, what we're gonna do is the first task is we're gonna go collect the two types of wood that we don't have in our base yet, which is jungle, which I guess there's a jungle over here, which I didn't realize. And also acacia. So yeah, it should be pretty decent. So we have a jungle right there and acacia right here. I know this savannah is right here. I didn't realize the jungle biome was that close. So I'm just going to collect about a stack of each, guys, just so we have it on hand, so we can kind of fill in our storage system a little bit more, make it just that much more complete. And yeah, it should go pretty well. And after that, guys, I have a couple other tasks in hand. Um, the villager despawned or disappeared in our potato farm over at the... Uh, and over at the, like, the industrial space station area. So we'll have to go fix that. Um, what else do we have to do? We have to fix up the hallway where our oral old storage system used to be. Uh, that's kind of messed up still. So just some couple things we need to do there. Um, something in the storage system. We need to put glass over our beacons. And yeah. Uh, one thing though, guys, is I will be starting up those streams. In the last episode, I mentioned that I wasn't sure if I was going to be able to get faster internet or not. Well, as of today, I increased my internet four times as much, so it actually wasn't that expensive to do so, which I'm happy about. Um, but yeah, I increased it fourfold. Uh, so now my upload speed is not 0.9 anymore. It is now about, it should be five actually, because the upload speed got a little extra of a boost. My previous download was 10 at where I am right now, and now it's 40. So I should be able to make videos and upload them much faster. So it's all going to be easier for me now. And I will be able to stream. So those streams will always be Saturday night. Uh, varying times kind of depends. I am in cross country to start off. So those streams will be will vary for some time um, to start off. But then after that, I'll probably just do them at 5.30 or not really 7 o'clock to 9 o'clock my time. Um, so yeah, um, it should be pretty fun. I'm, I'm looking forward to doing some of those streams. I think it really helps my channel. Gives it a bit of a boost. Um, but we are back to live audio. Um, uh, yeah, it's, I'm glad I'm back because once I run out of things to talk about, I can just end the clip like right now. So I'm going to continue to collect this wood, guys. Uh, I'll just go harvest like one jungle chi real quick. And yeah, after that, uh, I'm not really sure what we're going to do. We'll probably fix up. The, the hallway and glass stuff. So I'll be back once I have that jungle. Before I end this clip, I just want to find the jungle. The jungle biome I just saw, which is right here. This is cool. I didn't even know this jungle existed. Um, so yeah, the more you know, right? Alright, so I'm going to chop down. Uh, which tree looks best to me? I'm going to chop down this one. Alright, guys, I'll be back in just one moment. Okay guys, we're back, and now we're going to head back over to our base. I actually went a lot farther than I first suspected. I think that might be where the stronghold is, now that I'm thinking about it. I bet I think that that is. That's actually where the stronghold is. So I did know that jungle existed. I just didn't realize it's off in that direction. Yeah, yeah, that's where the stronghold is. But, very quickly, we're back over at our base. And I'm just going to zoom up. Over the hill and down. So as you guys can see, our started to i ran out of light blue glass that was in my inventory i started to replace the floor with that as well i think it just looks more fluid and yeah i think it just looks a little better in general um but yeah i think that's looking good i'll turn my f3 screen off and so now guys what we got to do is we got to fix this up get a new anvil kind of make these blocks down here look a bit better uh we're going to leave the rails because we're going to need those to build more iron farms and streams shortly we we'll also need to put some slabs back in place and things like that. You know, just to 
the basic stuff, right? Um, where's my leaf chest? So yeah, it should work out extremely well. Uh, let me just fill this all back in. So I got the leaves. I didn't get jungle leaves, but that's okay. I don't need those yet. But we do have all types. I think I'll put acacia here. I think I'll probably use that the least. And jungle right there. I'll have to put one there because we don't have enough spruce, but that's okay. And yeah, we have our wood chest complete. We have our leaf chest complete. It's all going well. Um, we'll have to find a spot to store shulker boxes in the near future. We'll probably just end up using... Maybe we can make a little room out of it. Like, off in here, just make a little room. We store shulker boxes. But now what we're going to do is we're going to grab some glass. Actually, we're going to grab dye first. So we've seen about eight. And what we're going to do is... Uh, I'll probably get 16 just in case. We're going to turn that green. So, and also the plug up the hole, of course, too. Uh, where's my dies here? Still getting used to the new storage system. Still getting used to it. I don't, this. I don't even need to sort those. Um, What else? Okay, so get some glass from over here. One other thing we need to do is we need to add crafting tables. Kind of scattered it around a little bit. Uh, we definitely need to add crafting tables in this area, so I'll do that in between the next cuts. But we can do this on camera real quick. So what we're going to do is just grab some scaffolding blocks. Just build up. Way farther up. Let's do that just to pop it off. You can't really see that from the bottom. Um... It all looks good. You can't really even see the stone or tell the stone's there. And then for this, we're just going to come down here, try not to die, change them down here so the beams are consistent, of course. And then place the glass up here as well, like so. And then I'll even need those four pieces, and then... I'll put this back in the storage system to be sorted along with that. Okay, so that's done. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fix this, put some crafting tables around, maybe put a couple anvils here and there to make this area a little more complete, you know, just with some more functional aspects to it, I guess. And I'll be back in just one moment. Okay, guys, so I have fixed up this area. It's all just looking a little bit better now. A little, little smoother, I guess you could say. Have the glass in over there, of course. And yeah, everything is complete. So, the only thing we have to do now is, of course, work on some nether tunnels. Which is not the only thing we're going to do, but it's the next thing we're going to do, I think. So, what I need to do is see how much birch wood I have. Um... I need to grab some sandstone. Yeah, birch wood, sandstone. Yeah, okay. So, how much birch wood do I have? None. Okay. That puts a bit of a hole. Um, okay, what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to basically just collect a bunch of the sandstone now. Throw a bunch of that in my inventory. Basically, all of it except for that much, probably. And I'm going to go place some sandstone down. So the first tunnel we're going to work on is probably the Witch Hut Tunnel, because I have the most work done on that one. So I'll start placing in the walls. Um, yeah, just keep doing that. Uh, it should go pretty well. Uh, one thing I have to do, check, is see if I have any packed ice. I'm not sure I do, which is definitely going to be an issue, which I need to get out of that portal and head back in one more time. So let's just take a look right there. Okay, so packed ice. I don't think I have packed ice, unfortunately. No, I'll need to go mine some packed ice then. Okay, change of plans. Let me grab a shulker box. No, wrong place. Uh, I'll put all this in here. And I'll grab this one. I'm going to go harvest a bunch of packed ice, get some birch wood. Basically just get everything, and I'll be back. In just one moment, I'll also probably go repair my tools and add unbreaking to this axe. 
Because when I died during the Blaze Storm episode, I actually forgot to put Umbreaking on the axe, unfortunately. So yeah, I'll be back once I have some resources gathered, tools repaired, things like that. Okay guys, we're back, and as you can see, I've collected about a shulker box full of ice. And yeah, it went extremely well. Um, there's just one thing I want to do before we do that. I just want to take a bit of a break from those nether tunnels. Um, yeah, this is actually the next day. I didn't get around the recording too much more yesterday. I had a sports practice to go to. So yeah, that basically explains that. But I think what we're going to start doing is we're going to actually start putting in some of these ingredients. So oh, we don't, although we don't have everything, uh, we do have some stuff. So I'm thinking that we'll start doing that for sure right now. Um, I will need leather because I want to have item frames so I can label stuff, right? Um, and good, we do have enough. I need 12. I do have some sticks in here. I do have some sticks. So we'll put that down and we'll be able to craft up some stuff right here. Just throw that on the ground and get another half stack of sticks. Craft that up. Okay, we have 12 now. Put that back in our inventory. We can head on over here and start doing that. So this is going to be a bit of a process. It's going to be a work in process for a long, long time, unfortunately. So we'll just have to keep on chugging it through with that. Uh, there's just one issue. I don't know how I'm supposed to get up there. Um... <laughs> Okay, let me just mine some stone out of the wall real quick. Okay. There we go. That should work. And I'll place all these shulker boxes down, get stuff in there. And yeah, we can start working on... After that, we'll then do the nether tunnel. And yeah, keep on working on some of these housekeeping tasks. Uh, I did AFK overnight uh, over, over the industrial base just to get some more sugar cane. That's like one of the only things I don't have, like full, whatever number of chests I have for each 20 double chests or whatever of. Decided to get some more of that. Got some iron too from the iron farm. So it's all, all going well. So I'm going to do this, guys, and I'll be back in just one moment. Okay, guys, we are back. And yeah, we've done quite a bit now. So, all right. So I basically moved all these shulker boxes over here. We'll just keep them here for now. Um,. And yeah, I have, I'm looking in the chest, of course, but I have filled up basically all of these with their respective ingredients, the redstone and glowstone, and gunpowder, which I haven't done here, actually, now that I'm thinking about it. So, yeah, um, some of these are not complete, or more complete than others, like... This one is basically done. Uh, this one is basically done as well. Um, this one is not done. We just need fermented spider eyes because we're not going to be lingering any lingering potions for these, but we will be using fermented spider eyes for that so we can make instant damage potions. Uh, poison, basically done. Um, just need nether wards for all of these, basically. And then Swiftness is basically done as well. I'll add one more stack of gunpowder into that. But besides that, we're done with that for now. Uh, we'll have to start working on a few of those farms here and there. Some mushroom farms, netherward farms. Um, all sorts of farms, to be honest. Uh, I did allocate one on the very end for gas tiers, so regeneration potions, but that guys is a long ways in the future before we build a gas tier farm. Um, so yeah, it's gonna it's gonna take a while to get to that point, but we will eventually we will eventually have a gas tier farm. Um, and yeah, so let's start working on some of those nether tunnels. So I'm gonna get that sandstone, which is here. Get that packed ice um, and start working on that. Uh, and then have to go gather some birch wood as well. But I said I'm just going to finish the witch nether, nether tunnel right now. So I think we need to lay out some more ice. Um, 
So what I'll do first, build all the walls, and of course put some more slabs on the ceiling. So it should go fairly well. Uh, please be the ice one. Okay, that's great. I'm just gonna like try to fill my inventory up with it. I think that should probably be enough right there, though. I got more than enough because it's always good to have extra ice on hand. Because it is a little bit far away because we don't have our nether tunnel finished there either. Which I'm not sure if we'll get around to that in this episode. Not sure yet. But yeah, this has gotten damage from gas. So we definitely need to fix up some of this. But I'm going to start clearing all this out, guys. And I'll be back once I have basically this nether tunnel finished. So it should just be, probably won't take too long. Uh, and I'll be back in just one moment. Okay, guys, we're back. And yeah, I have expended all my sandstone resources. So I'll have to go out and harvest some of those. But I got a significant chunk done. We finished most of the sandstone and all of the ice. So yeah, we're slowly, slowly working away on some of those projects. We'll just have to every now and again just work on that for like 20, 25 minutes or so. But yeah, uh, we can see that the iron farm's working well. If I don't get stuck in that water. Let me get out of here. Um, so yeah, now what? I think what we need to do is, unfortunately, have to transport villagers, which I don't want to do. But this guy has despawned. I'm not sure how. Not sure why, but he's gone. We need to replace him. So, yeah, I think that's what we're probably going to do next. Is just bring that guy on over here. And that does not look as green as it usually. I feel like it should. Maybe it's because it's is it lime green? Oh, shoot. Oh, it's because it goes to the white first. Yeah, we definitely don't want that. I didn't realize that was actually a thing. Yeah, now that's, now that's looking good. Now that's looking good. I feel like we should make that lime green, though. Oh, uh, yeah, we'll have to think about that. But this place is absolutely deadly, so how about we go check on our cactus supplies? That's always important to do. Right? Yeah. Um, yeah, you guys haven't seen this in a long time. I think I showed it off in a stream a couple weeks ago, but, you know, it's always nice to see our base every now and again. I think it's actually back here. And, yeah, two double chests. Oh, no, five double chests in a bit. Okay, so we have more, more than enough. All right, now let's take a nap over here, though. Yeah, um, yeah, it's getting, coming along nicely. Now let's open that up. All righty. Okay, so, yeah, I'm going to fix that, guys, and then I'm not really sure what we're going to do after that. Um, yeah. Yeah, um, by the way, guys, here is a little contest I have for you. Um, this is where our next huge, huge, huge building project is going to be. Uh, I have big, big plans for this area. I want you guys to guess what it's going to be down in the comments down below. So you just give it your best guess on what it's going to be. I'm interested to hear what you guys have to think. Uh, we have to fix the zombie problem there. We don't want them getting in the farm. So, have to fix that at some point. Uh, we'll have to figure out a way to get out of here. There we go. Okay, so yeah. Um, big projects, though. Big projects in mind for this area. But I'm going to stop hinting at anything. I'm going to fix that, guys. I'm not really sure why I'm still talking. Um, I'll be back in just one moment. Alrighty, let's go do that. Well, guys, this is the first time I'm logging into this world for almost two weeks now, believe it or not. Yeah, uh, yeah, I got a bit, a bit busy over the past couple weeks, unfortunately. Oh, uh, yeah, school has started now for me. I fought about a week and a day. So, yeah, I started, this video's probably going to come out on a Sunday. So, I started a week from the previous Thursday. So, like, August 15th, about. And, yeah, it's been crazy. Uh, school has been really really busy uh, i can't really record during the school week just because i have homework and i'm in the sports right now until like end of october so i can't record during the school week and then with that sport i was basically occupied all last weekend so i didn't chance get a chance to record at all then either but now i should be able to settle into a schedule where i'm able to make 
a video or two on the weekends. So it needs to go in a survival episode and probably like a redstone or another type of video, hopefully. But yeah, I'm glad to be back. We're doing a live stream tonight after we finish up the recording for this episode. Uh, just because of how delayed this episode is going to be, we're just going to like just do a little bit of casual like casual stuff in the remainder of this episode so i forget what we really have done in this episode i know it's the housekeeping so what we're gonna start doing is just start honestly just build just terraform uh, i think that's what we're gonna be doing in the live stream for a while uh yeah we have the terraform and i want to show you what i mean by what we have to terraform because definitely it's definitely is something we need to get done um there we go. Alright. But yeah, guys, I am glad to be back. Uh, yeah, school has been going well. I'm staying alive. One of my goals this school year, I have to stay more organized with homework and things, stuff like that. I've never been too bad, but it's always good to have more organization, especially I'm going into one of my hardest years yet. Um, so yeah, it's just, it's just, it's going to be a little hectic uh, during the sports seasons, which is, for me, about... It would be end of, so beginning of the school year, so like mid-August to, I mean, maybe, I mean, I'm just trying to think. And then uh, the next sports, I do activities throughout the entire year, but the next sports season where I'm occupied five day, six days a week, because uh, I have to go to meets, I do cross country and track, would be in the spring. So that's like April, or like, end of February through base almost end of May. So maybe that's a much longer long term chunk. Um but yeah I have worked with the sports seasons before now. Uh I started my channel at the end of cross country last year and now I work through track. Work through a busy, busy summer. So hopefully we'll be able to stay on top of everything and hopefully do a decent amount of videos here and there. But yeah, expect the progress in Let's Plays to be a little slowed i'm gonna have videos but it won't be as much progress in each of those videos if you get what i'm saying like some of the projects we've done over the summer have truly been amazing that we've been able to get that done in one video that probably won't be happening won't be one episode two episodes to build an entire guardian farm to say um so yeah that's just what the plan is right now if i sound really tired that's because i actually woke up over almost 14 hours ago now uh, i woke up at 3.45 in the morning uh, to catch a bus to get to a, my first cross-country meet uh, down down in a couple hours away. Uh, yeah, that was that was a good first meet, but I'm extremely tired. I mean, cross-country is just, yeah, it's a tiring sport. Uh, yeah, I'm going to talk to you guys about how just life in general. I think it's good to have that. Also, to warm myself up for a live stream in just a couple bits. But yeah, uh, so cross-country... Uh, at least where I am, if you can do many types of races, uh, differing lengths. But where I am, the only length you do, really the standard length, like the state like length, is a 5K, which is 3.1 miles, or 5,000 meters, however you want to put it. And yeah, that's a very, it's a lot, but it's a lot of, you know, you have to just get used to doing that. And yeah, I did, I did pretty well today. Uh... I am maintaining my varsity spots, so that's always good. Um, yeah, but it's it's a lot of fun. Yeah, so if you ever just try running out, it's really nice to be honest. Once you get, even if you're not good at it, just getting in the habit of running, I think, is so important. Uh, even if it's just like thirty minutes a day. Um, but yeah, I'm very tired from that, which is why I'm sort of kind of yeah, sounding a lot of tired, really tired right now. Uh yeah, but this is gonna be a, this is gonna be challenging. Um, I'm not really sure what I want to do with this yet. I'm thinking something like that, maybe like that kind of shape. Maybe just get that shape down, and then we can go from there. I want to kind of like the indent back on itself, possibly. Uh, it's kind of a weird shape though, I gotta say. Yeah, so I just have to terraform this. Uh, the storage system does just jut out. Like, if you break these blocks, the storage system's back here. So we can't really remove those blocks, to say, because then the storage system is exposed. 
so we kind of have to like build a bit of a kind of terraform i'm not really sure what we're gonna do uh this is kind of what we're doing in the live stream but yeah this is kind of to introduce the last couple episodes have introduced a lot of projects uh the brewing potion stand has introduced several several farming projects that we realize we still desperately need to do uh, in terms of brewing ingredients uh this episode has also revealed a lot of the terraforming projects and also the last episode revealed all these base projects so yeah it's, the last couple episodes have been full of progress uh especially we built the auto brewer last episode but yeah this is basically i don't know this episode's more of a really relaxed one i'm not really sure yeah, basically I just needed to get this episode done, which is why this last clip, last half of the video is me just talking. But yeah, what we're going to be working on, just here and there, hopefully, is the terraforming on this. Which, I mean, already it looks so much better, even with the little bit I've done. And the terraforming, now that I think about it, I mean, we don't really come over here, this is like a part of our base. But to make this like a grassy field, now that would look really cool, like it looks... Like there's nothing under there, but we know there's a giant villager cave under there. Then it's even more cave-like. And yeah, that'd be pretty cool as well. Uh, but yeah, it's a lot of projects we got to get done for sure in terms of terraforming. Over here as well, we'll have to terraform. So yeah, it should be lots of fun working on all these projects. I'm um, sorry I sound so tired in this clip. I, I hear my voice, and I'm, I'm, I'm happy right now. I mean, I had a fun day with all my classmates and teammates. And all those people, but I am extremely tired, unfortunately. Oh, one thing I want to mention, guys, is by the way, I added this thing. So basically, I turn it off when I don't want to use it. So I actually gotta. Switch that around a little bit. I just put the lever in there. Okay, but the reason why that was off is because I realized that our spawn chunks only go so far. So for AF Kang, I'm not even sure if this is true if Redstone is updated in the spawn chunks or not. But even still, the items would just go over there and they'd leave the spawn chunks to not despawn. But then hundreds of items could build up there overnight and then it just would sit on the hopper and wouldn't. It would despawn after a certain point. So I decided that what I would do is I would leave this because I have my poppy storage, of course, which is already filled up. I was probably just spitting stuff out at this point. But then I have the iron storage build up. And once that's filled, so we have like a double chest full now, just come here, turn that on, and, the, and we can just AFK this for a little while. And all the iron will just go right into our storage system. And it should work fairly well if I'm you know thinking correctly. Um yeah we might add something similar with slime at some point. Uh this is another project that we have to work on is just this the slime farm in general is not not looking good. So we're gonna definitely do something over here to make this look better. Uh definitely lime concrete themed for sure. That's definitely a plan. Uh, as you can see I've already added the top. Uh one other th yeah but this thing is actually Honestly, I was thinking about adding this to our storage system. I'm not sure anymore just because this is already filled up. I haven't really, when I last AFK'd this, I had maybe half of this filled up, but now the entire thing is filled up to here. So we have a double chest in that much slime. So even just me walking around in our spawn chunks has definitely done some damage. Um. So yeah, that's basically going to be it for this episode, guys. I'm sort of sorry about the lack of progress in this, especially since it was like almost two weeks without a video. Uh, I'm going to try to get back into it. That will be, the next few weeks are going to be the worst just because I have standardized tests I have to study for coming up. So there's that. Also, I'm just getting into the groove of things. But I think a lot of my meets are on Fridays for the most part. So that should be a little helpful in terms of that. But it should just be, hopefully we'll have a decent next three months. Uh, I know... Over the summer, I did fall behind. I did wish I hadn't, but I was a lot busier than I expected then as well. So hopefully we can turn that around. But the channel is doing well. I'm glad everyone is happy with everything, hopefully. And yeah, I'm sorry once again. I'm sorry about this video not having a lot of progress. And 
taking so long to upload. Um, and just one last thing, guys. I do want to start the live streams up again. Um, that's one thing I definitely want to do, uh, which I'm starting up again because I, I got my internet set to be much faster now for cheap. I think I might have said that anyways. But yes, I have faster internet now, so hopefully, hopefully, we can start the live streams up again and get those done on Saturday nights, maybe Sundays, usually Saturday nights, though. Just looking ahead on my schedule. Uh, next week, Labor Day weekend, I will be gone on that Saturday, but I think I'm off school. It's really weird. I'm off school the Monday and Tuesday and the, and the Tuesday afterwards. So I think I'm back Monday night because uh, I have practice. I can't miss it. Um, so yeah, I should be able to get a live stream done sometime then next weekend. And I'm, I think I'm just looking ahead. I'm thinking most of my meets are on Fridays, actually, which is good because then I actually have two full weekends. And I can, I'm better able to spread my time out. But yeah, I'm glad you guys just listened to me rant about kind of what the direction the channel is going to be taking for the next couple months. Um, I still want to make videos. Uh, this is not... I'm not really sure what I want this to turn into yet. I have a feeling that it could. I mean, obviously, you never know with the right amount of effort. This could turn into something big if I if I took the time to release several videos every single day. But that is not what we're looking for yet. But yeah, thanks for listening to me, guys. I know it was probably a little annoying. But I'm going to AFK this, go eat some dinner, and then go and live stream. So yeah, it should be a lot of fun. But yeah, guys, once again, have a peaceful day. See you later.